here in this house. I gave her my phone number. I just wanted to make sure she could get it. She lives here on her own and her family are around but they're all busy working and stuff. But she's she's crippled. She's crippled with arthritis and they told her her back was broken. She, she can't walk. They told her not to pick up her bin. She can't pick up her bin. And when I put the, my number through the door, it fell on the floor. And I don't know if she can even bend down to pick it up. Um, and she said to, to come and call her. But she said she's really sick. But when she, um, when she, she says sometimes she doesn't answer the phone or, or her door. And, and her, her family don't know. Uh, and she says, you know, oh, they forgive her, she says. And, it was a very complicated conversation, but I thought she was talking about me. But, but now the light's on, the alarm's on. I rang the doorbell and she's not answering, so I'm hoping she's okay. I mean, look, look, what's all that, what's all that stuff? Uh, and she, she comes out here with a, a stick and she's, she's a cripple. Number 133, E-O-O-33311, that's me, I'm Ian Grant, I'm in full possession of my senses, I have just withdrawn 100 pounds, 50 of it was from Lana Del Rey, Elizabeth Woolridge Grant, who is my wife, and we are going to the sun, and we're going to write the book afterwards, the children are going to do it, Phoenix Calif California. This is not going on anymore. I've seen the future. And Nama Cohen will tell you what it's about. Enough is enough. Tell me that you need to work on yourself. Hot damn. Hi there, how are you? Hello, you alright? Yeah. How's Rambo? He's good, he's come up from his walk. <laughs> Great. <He's good. laughs> it was so nice to meet him. Oh, I, I could smell him on my hands afterwards. <laughs> thank you. Phil. He's got a great smell. <laughs> You too. A dog's called Rambo. R I M B A U D. Joy sur la clé de cette parade sauvage. And the door. <laughs> <laughs>